Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Blades of Avernum. Last episode, we managed to get through into Sued Canopy. And Mira is dead, their special power. Two of their generals are dead. And then Spiegelbrecher went insane. And Leader is dead. So now we have to deal with Spiegelbrecher. We have hints that there's something up here, so let's go check. There he is. You reach the summit of the hill. On both sides of you are two black statues whose features droop, as well as two giant stone pillars which point towards the sky. Spiegelbrecher does not turn to face you. He does not seem concerned with you, nor does he seem threatened. Specialists, welcome to the manifestation of the power of the underdog. This is the last shrine of their order on this side of the world. You speak nonsense. Spiegelbrecher chuckles. <laughs> Irony is such a lovely craft element, isn't it? I asked you to follow me, and physically you did. And yet it's ironic in so much as you did not follow me spiritually. And yet further still, it's ironic because of the fate I have planned for you yet. A trap? Goodbye, specialists. You fiend! Spiegelbrecher and the four spirits stare on with a sense of duty as the world seems to tear apart before you. The two pillars give way to a world of dark red. The stench is rife with decomposition, demolition, and deconstruction. This should only be one place. Suddenly the gate begins to suck you in. You cannot resist. Or perhaps you don't want to. You are inundated. Time to say hello to Leader. You have finally arrived in the land of the dead. Welcome home. Um... That can't be the end of it, can it? I'm going to reload. Alright, let's try something else. Spiegelbrecher did not go in this direction. You have no choice but to follow him. After all, it's your neck on the line. Okay, so then, what if we say it's time to die? Prepare to die? Wait. Is that seriously the end of it? That can't be the end of it. Are you serious here? No, that can't be right. I, I need to look this up. I need to find the walkthrough. I need to look this up. That can't be the end. Okay. I looked at the walkthrough. That's the end. That's the end of this thing. That was horrible! There's... Seriously? It's not about whether there's... I'm sorry, it's... I'm not pissed off because we died. No, no, no. Dying, sure. It's... That can be a fine ending to a story. No. And it's fine if we fail. I guess, to a point. I mean, kind of like what happened with, uh... With Nethergate, we failed in that, but there's no closure. There's no explanation. None of this. It's... This is a horrible ending. And people praise Canopy? I mean, I can see reasons why. The, the story is interesting and intriguing. There's a lot of information for all of it. The gameplay is quite well, aside from frustrations with some characters who instantly kill you no matter what. There's a lot of cutscenes. There's a lot of detail. It's very well made, but... Seriously, that ending? Oh my god, I'm falling into the Mass Effect 3 problem. <laughs> this is fucking Mass Effect 3! The game was good right up to the fucking ending! <laughs> 
Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That I think I've just said everything I feel about canopy. <laughs> I I wish I could say more, but I've said everything I have to say, so <sighs> You know what? Fine. I, I don't I don't care that this is going to be a stupidly ridiculously short episode. But I'm just going to justify it by saying that after being cheated like that at the end of that, I'm just going to leave it short. For once, all you guys watching, I'm just going to leave it like this. <laughs> short episode. Fine. We're done. We're, we're done. You know, I'm, I'm not even going to I'm not even going to say my ending. We're done. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.